demonic logos. The Bible says in the book of 2 Corinthians, the 11th chapter, verses 14 through 15, And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. Demonic Logos Here are a countdown of 11 demonic logos loved by many. Number one, Paula White. This is Paula White. This is Paula White's logo. Can you see the demonic hiding in plain sight? The P in the background is made possible by the use of the crescent moon. The crescent moon. The crescent moon is associated with Islam and Islam is associated with Satan. Paula White given homage to Islam and Satan on her logo. Again, here we have Paula White. Paula White is a snake, just like her father, Satan. Paula White's clothing is telling you whose she is. The Illuminati are putting it right in your face for you to see, hiding in plain sight. Do you see the snake on Paula White's blouse? Paula White is sending you a subliminal message. I'm going to add a pair of eyes to help you locate the snake. The snake's head is resting on a podium like example picture. The snake's body is wrapped around the upper part of Paula White's body on her blouse. Let's break this down. Okay, so here we have the snake's head here right here and you can see his right eye you can see the pupil and the white of the eye and you can even see an eyebrow here and his left eye is shaded in black so to bring that out a little bit more for you here we go I'm gonna drop in two eyeballs okay and there's the snake's head and it's in the shape of a bell. 
Now the snake head is resting on a podium. And here's the podium here and it goes down and it flares out here. So the snake head is resting on a podium just like here. And I want to bring to your attention, okay, we see the snake's head, but behind the snake head is the body. So you see the body going up and over. Okay, you see that? It's going straight up over Paula's left shoulder and it's going around and it's coming out over her right shoulder here. This is the snake's tail here. That's what this is. So it's going straight up around and it's coming out over her right shoulder. So there we go here and there. I couldn't bring the snake's body straight up because I didn't really know how to do that, but I think you guys get my point. So the snake body goes straight up, it goes around her blouse and it comes out right here. So this snake tail here represents the snake tail here. Okay, so once again, the snake tail here represents the snake tail that wraps around her right body. Okay, that's Paula. Be not ignorant concerning the devices of Satan. This is what you see, but this is what you got. Be not ignorant concerning the devices of Satan. The snake's body is draped cleverly around the blouse of Paula White. This is called a subliminal image. And billions are spent on it each and every year. Billions are spent on it because they know it works. So what this is saying, it is a snake, a.k.a. Satan, that speaks from Paula White's pulpit. Wake up, people. We are living in the last days. And Satan's ministers are coming as ministers of righteousness. Paula White is showing you who she is. So show some respect and believe her. Number two, Kenneth Copeland. This is Kenneth Copeland. This is Kenneth Copeland's logo. Do you see the demonic hiding in plain sight? I will
will turn Kenneth Copeland's logo upside down to see the demonic. I'm going to add two eyeballs to this logo to bring out the demonic. Kenneth Copeland has a demon and the Baphomet. on his logo. Let's break down Kenneth Copeland's logo. Okay, so you see here, first of all, this here appears to be like a globe here that he is working with. And we see the Baphomet and we see the demon here. And we already know that Satan is the god of this world. So this is the subliminal image that's being given here. So first of all, we see the demon and you can see his horn. And so let's put in an eyeball for him so we can bring a little more clarity to the demon. There you go. Okay, so you see the demon. I just place an eye there so you can kind of... Um, find him a little quicker so you see the demon has like a little horn here in the back of his head the back of his his back here and it goes all the way down and you can see his right pelvis his right pelvis right here and you can see his leg and his foot and you can see his left pelvis his leg and his foot and this demon is sitting he's sitting down um, on his butt and so it's just a demon sitting here because this is what they do they're very demonic people and over here we have the Baphomet and I'm going to put an eye into the Baphomet and there you go so this uh, creature here and you can see his arm and his little hand and his body here and his right arm here he's just sitting in here and this um, thing here represents the Baphomet here as you can see it says the Baphomet so this is what's on um, Kenneth Copeland's logo the Baphomet and a little grotesque demon. The head of the Baphomet is made from the continent of Africa. Upside down. This is Africa that make up the head of the Baphomet being upside down. The Illuminati are obsessed with Africa. and black Americans. This is because they know we got next. Again, Kenneth Copeland. Here is another logo of Kenneth Copeland. Notice the three mountain peaks. All three have a subliminal 666 on them.
and all three mountains are in the shape of a pyramid. Kenneth Copeland is letting you know that he is down with the Illuminati and Satan too. Again, Kenneth Copeland This picture here is filthy. Kenneth Copeland is endorsing homosexuality. If you want the breakdown of this picture, please view my video, Kenneth Copeland Exposed. But I will flip this picture on its side to show you who Kenneth Copeland stands behind. Please notice the red splatter Kenneth Copeland stands behind. I will flip the picture to bring out the demonic. I have added a pair of eyeballs to bring out the demonic. The subliminal image is showing you that Kenneth Copeland stands behind the Baphomet, Satan himself. Wake up to Kenneth Copeland. He is a minister of Satan. Number three, Creflo Dollar. This is Creflo Dollar. This is Creflo Dollar's logo. Creflo Dollar's logo has similar markings as the Monster Energy Drink. This letter here is the Hebrew letter for the number six. Notice the Hebrew letter is in the likeness of the mustard drink image. And Creflo Dollar's logo. So what you have here is 666 six, six on the monster drink. And Creflo Dollar's logo. Six 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 is the mark of the beast. Remember people, this is a subliminal image. Satan is not going to show you right out, but I will.
wake up to Creflo Dollar. Again, Creflo Dollar. Here is another logo of Creflo Dollar. The logo looks like a globe, but actually it is the Baphomet. I would drop in two eyes. and a line for the mouth to expose the Baphomet. With logo blown up and straightened out, you can now see a blue subliminal image. The blue subliminal image has the appearance of a ape. And you know what they say, black people look like monkeys. So do I need to tell you who the ape represents? The ape represents Creflo Dollar. This is what the Illuminati thinks about Creflo Dollar a big ape. Black people who are puppets for the Illuminati have not figured out yet that they are nothing more than coons for the Illuminati. Coons with a contract. Now the logo is back in slanted position. This position hides the blue looking ape, but not from the most high. So this is your World Changers Church International. The Baphomet. AKA Satan and a blue ape. AKA Creflo Dollar. Wake up to Ape Man. AKA Creflo Dollar. Number four, Benny Hinn. This is Benny Hinn. This is Benny Hinn's logo. Benny Hinn's logo looks like a dove giving birth to a globe. But actually, the emphasis is on the eye of a dragon.
Notice the oval subliminal image with a slit line going down the center. This represents a reptile eye. A reptile eye as in a dragon It is nothing more than the all-seeing eye, the dragon, looking back at you, Satan. The dragon is Benny Hinn's dove. Benny Hinn paying homage to Satan, the dragon, on his logo. Number five, Jerry Savelle. This is Jerry Savelle and wife. Here is Jerry Savelle's family, all sitting in a pretty pyramid form, with Jerry and wife at the top of the pyramid sharing a kiss. Jerry Savelle's logo looks like a S. S for Savelle. But actually, the S stands for Satan. And I'll tell you why. The Hebrew symbol here means the number six. I'm going to flip the subliminal image on its side to bring out the demonic. The three subliminal curve strips represents the Hebrew symbol for six. So what we have here is six, six, six. And now you know the S stands for Satan. People, this is a subliminal image. And Satan is not going to write out, make it clear for you, but I will. Wake completely up to Jerry Savelle. Number six, T. 
T.D. Jakes. This is T.D. Jakes. This is T.D. Jakes logo. Notice the logo sits in an upside down pyramid. The logo appears to be a man's hand molding a clay pot. But actually, it is T.D. Jakes paying homage to Islam. I am going to flip the subliminal image upside down and blow it up to bring out the demonic. Here is the subliminal image blown up. Now I'm upside down. Here is the crescent moon. Shaded in black, which represents Islam. Here is T.D. Jakes. He is shaded in white in profile position, worshiping the crescent moon. Here is the Baphomet. He is shaded in black. Horns and all. I have placed an eyeball on the Baphomet to bring out the demonic even more. So we have the crescent moon, T.D. Jakes, and the Baphomet, all at the hand of the potter. So now we know who the potter is. Satan himself. The potter's house, right side up. Who would have known? Again. Here is another logo of T.D. Jakes. T.D. Jake standing wide, forming a pyramid, for Satan. T.D. Jake points his finger upward in the air. Given honor to the Prince of the Air. Satan is the Prince of the Air. So T.D. Jakes and others point up. Acknowledging their prince. T. 
T.D. Jakes paying honor to the Illuminati, a.k.a. Satan on his logo. Number seven, Rod Parsley. This is Rod Parsley. This is Rod Parsley's logo. Rod Parsley's logo looks like a cross to draw sheeple in. But actually, it is a cone head demon with teeth hiding in plain sight. The logo is small because Rod Parsley does not want anyone to see it. But the Most High brought it to light anyway. I will place an eyeball onto Demon, enlarge subliminal picture of Conehead Demon teeth and all. Subliminal cone head demon with teeth on the cross. Picture enlarged. People, this is a subliminal image and Satan is not going to make it clear for you but I will. And now you know why this subliminal image is so small. Again, here is a book written by Rod Parsley at the cross where healing begins. It's not a cross at all. Apparently, Rod Parsley loved using the cross to deceive with. I am going to flip the picture upside down to show you the real picture. With the picture being flipped upside down, do you see the black man? I have placed two eyeballs on the picture for easy location of black man. Notice the cross is a black man, crew cut and all. The black man is wedged in between a stick. Notice the red, cloudy-like demon. Notice the cloudy-looking demon is gripping the stick with his right hand. So what is this cloudy-looking demon doing to the black man?
the cloudy looking demon is roasting the black man over the fire. Like one would roast Jiffy popcorn over the fire. Notice the black man is lodged in between the wooden stick. So why is Rod Parsley roasting a black man over fire on his book cover? Because Rod Parsley is a puppet for the Illuminati, Satan. The Illuminati knows that the black man is Jacob. The true children of Israel. And the Illuminati, a.k.a. Esau, hates Jacob. Rod Parsley promoting Jacob's trouble on the front cover of his book. Rod Parsley, another devil. And to think, about 90% of his congregation are black people. Wake up to wicked Rod Parsley. Number eight. Joseph Prince. This is Joseph Prince. This is Joseph Prince logo. Joseph Prince has the image of Baal on his logo. Ancient Canaanite deity Baal on his logo. I'm going to flip the subliminal picture upside down to bring out the demonic. Do you see Baal? sitting in his little circle. I will blow up subliminal picture to bring out Baal. These devils are slick. Do you see Baal now? turned upside down and hiding in plain sight, Bell. Bell can always be found by his pointy hat. Joseph Prince pastors a church in Singapore. Let's pray for them. They know not that there is a devil over them.
Wake up to pagan lover Joseph Prince. Number nine, Stephen Furtick. This is Elevation Church. The pastor of Elevation Church is Stephen Furtick. This is the logo of Elevation Church. When you first look at this logo, it looks like an elevator button that is going up. But actually, it is a doorway, a portal going straight in for miles. A doorway, a portal into the Illuminati. Doctrines of Devils. The elevator button is really Satan's pyramid. The all-seeing eye of Satan. The Elevation Church is a gateway, a portal, a doorway into doctrines of devils. You are not going up, but down. Wake up, people, to the cunning devices of the enemy. Wake up to 16,000 square foot home, Stephen Furtick. Number 10, Joel Osteen. I have already done a recent video on Joel Osteen and his logo that he possessed high up on his church building. So this will be brief. If you want to see the complete video, please check out my YouTube channel. Click on Joel Osteen. The Smiling Preacher. This is Joel Osteen's logo that sits high up on his church building. This subliminal image here has the appearance of a dove. But actually, it is a face. It's blackface. Mocking black people. Yes, blackface, mocking black people. 
allow me to expose the racist subliminal image on Joel Osteen's church building. I'm going to add a eyeball, a set of teeth to the already twisted smile, and a noose to expose the smiling black face. So what we have here is blackface being lynched. Yes, blackface being lynched. Joel Osteen is keeping in remembrance black people that were lynched in this country. Number 11, Jesse Duplantis. This is Jesse Duplantis. This is Jesse Duplantis' filthy logo. So what do you think Jesse Duplantis' filthy logo is showing you? I am going to split the logo to bring out the demonic. I have split the logo because there is a front and back door to this logo. Okay, I call this the front door. And actually they want you to think that this is some type of a globe, but it isn't. This is the lower torso of a man. This is his right leg, and this is his left leg. This light blue area here is his genital area, and this little thing here hanging, hanging here is, um, represents his penis. So this is the lower torso of a man. Just like this example picture that is given here, right leg, right leg, left leg, left leg. And here you see the genital area of the example picture, and that's exactly what this is here. The genital area, a subliminal image of the genital area, and this um, hanging here represents the penis. Okay, and I call this picture the back door. And it, this, this is a gentleman here. I don't know if I should call him a gentleman, but this uh, man here is on his hands and knees in a doggy style position. So you can see clearly his left leg, his right leg, and the reason why it's so wide because it is his um, buttocks area. And this man is bent over on his hands and knees. Just like the example picture here, this, this man here is in a doggy style position. You can clearly see his left arm here. And this is exactly what this is here. This is a left arm, a subliminal left arm right here just like the picture. You see his little round head and this darker blue, larger portion up here 
represents the head. So you see his buttocks area, and that's exactly what you have up here. This is a, just a supplemental image of my example picture. So this gentleman is in a doggy style position. I have placed the logo back together again to further bring out the demonic. I have flipped the logo upside down, darkened it some, and have added eyeballs for easy location of the demonic. Do you see the blue demon on Jesse Duplantis logo? The blue demon is there, hiding and bewitching in the background. Looking like the green Grinch that stole Christmas. Not that I need to do this, but here he is. The blue demon is exposed when the logo is turned upside down. This is his left hand. Right side up and his left hand now forms the penis of the lower torso. Lower torso. Back door, doggy style. Right side up. Upside down. And we know that this is right side up because we can see clearly his initials, J, D, M, which represents Jesse Duplantis Ministries. But upside down, we are able to see this blue demon that is bewitching in the background. Lower front torso, lower front torso of example picture. Left leg, left leg, right leg, right leg, genital area, genital area. Okay, and this is the back door that I like to call it. And this is this this man is in a doggy style position once again. Left leg, right leg, left leg, right leg, the spread of the butt area, the spread of the butt area here left arm clearly see the left arm and this is the left arm here as well his head is clearly formed by this dark blue area here and this gentleman is in a doggy style position be not ignorant concerning the devices of the enemy Jesse Duplantis 
is a dark agent of Satan and he is bewitching many with this logo. Okay, I'm done. Okay, I said I was going to do 11 countdowns to demonic logos, but I just had to do this last one. So we're going to have 12 countdowns to demonic logos. Number 12, Dr. Tony Evans. This is Dr. Tony Evans. This is Dr. Tony Evans logo. Dr. Tony Evans is giving honor to Bell and a totem pole on his logo. Bell and a totem pole hiding in the name Tony. I'm going to blow up picture to bring out the demonic. Do you see the totem pole? The T in Tony is actually a totem pole. Let's break this down. Okay, so we see here, this is the T in Tony. So we can see the T here is this T here that I have magnified here on the page. And you can clearly see that this looked like a large wingspan of a totem pole. And that represents this wingspan here on this totem pole. And you can see the feathery type image here coming downward as in bird feathers. And the wingspan curves like a, a a bird flying and these are wings here as the wings here on this example totem pole and here's the pole here as in the pole here and you can see that there are irregular shapes here because it represents a different character a different animal or even a person's face and each, each section here. So it's like a storyline, a totem pole is like a storyline. It tells a story about um, their history or about that particular animal that they might be using on the totem pole. So this is the reason why there's breaks here, these little separations here, the indentations here, because these represent different faces, different animals, um, that's on the totem pole. And then also I want to draw your attention to the round circle up here on the totem pole, which is the cross of the T in Tony's name here. This circle represents the head of the totem pole as in this head here. That's why it's round and it's sitting up there like that. It's the head of the totem pole. And once again, these are wings. And you can clearly see the feathery substance here, the feathery image that is placed here so that you know that they are wings. Okay. Some totem poles are made up of many different animals on the pole. So you can see here, there are one, two, three, four different um, animals or creatures or faces on this pole. The first one looks like maybe a pig of some sort. And the second one is like some type of a bird. You can see the wings here. So that's letting us know that it's a bird. And once again, the wingspan 
of the T in the name Tony is letting you know that this is a bird also with the round head up here. Um, a lot of times they like to use eagles and falcons on their totem pole, so this could very well um, be an eagle or a falcon. And then next we have uh, another creature here. It looks like a bull, maybe an ox. And you can see the nostrils here. And then you can see the right and the left eye. And these two things here on the side of their head, I'm assuming that they are horns. So this is sort of like an ox or a cow. And then we have uh, another creature up here. And it looks like it's sort of like a mask. So I'm not exactly sure what this is. It could be a person, but it is some type of creature. So we have four different um, pictures here, four different creatures, animals um, on this totem pole. It is believed that the animals on the totem pole are spirit guides guiding you throughout your life. No matter how you dice it up, the totem pole is a graven image, a idol, demonic, and against the Most High's word. The Holy Ghost is to lead and guide you into all truth and not some graven, dumb animal. But because Dr. Tony Evans have made a pact with the Illuminati, a.k.a. Satan, he has to represent this evil in his name. Here is Baal. Hiding in the tail of the Y in his first name, Tony. Remember, I've told you all that Bell can always be found by his pointy hat. The face of Bell at the end of the Y. Trust me, it is Bell. Again, here is Tony Evans posing with a lamppost. The lamppost. represents Bell, a subliminal image of Bell. Remember, Bell can always be found by his hat that he wears. Notice the lamppost look like it is wearing a hat. Like example picture. You can see a subliminal right eye on the lamp post. What can I say? We live in a bell system and many ministers secretly serve him well. Again, Dr. Tony Evans proudly poses with the Baphomet located on his right side.
I am going to add two demarcation lines to bring out the bofferment. Line one to form the face and line two to form the neck of the bofferment. Let's break this down. Okay, so you see here, um, this is his face, the sideline of his face, and this is his right horn here, and you go across his head and you it's formed the left horn. So this is already here, people. I didn't touch this picture here. I just only add eyeballs to bring out the image more clearly. So here you see the right horn go across the head and here forms the left horn. You see his right eye. You can see the white of his eye here. And this is his right eye. You go across and you see his left eye, which is shaded in black. You can see the nostrils of the um, bofferment, and then his mouth here is kind of pushed into uh, Dr. Tony Evans' right shoulder. So this is his head, clearly right here. So to make it even more clear, I'm going to put in a demarcation line. There you go. So there's the head of the Bofferman. Right horn, left horn, right eye, left eye. And you can see the neck right here at a slanted position, but I'm going to put in a demarcation line to bring that out even more. They put in a white line right here, a lighter line, so that you can um, tell the difference between the neck and the um, background substance. So let's put in the neck demarcation line. There you go. And you can clearly see this figure here. And that figure represents the bofferment. Also, do you see the subliminal image of Bell? Located on Dr. Tony Evans' left side. Let's break this down. Okay, so we have Bell sitting in a black grave here. And you see this blackness around here? Going around Bell. The blackness is there. It's put there by the Illuminati because they want you to see Bell. And they want to separate Bell from the background substance that's in this picture. So here's Bell's face, and this is his head. This is Bell's chest area. This is his left shoulder and his left arm. And he is sitting in a position, he's like his, this is his lap. And these are his legs going down. So he's sitting in a chair-like position. But to better see his face, I place two um, white dots for eyes. So let's put those in. There you go. Now you can see Bell's face just a little bit better right here. And you can see his hat. And you can see his body as well. Once again, his chest area, his left shoulder area and his left arm, and he's sitting down in some kind of a seat, and these two pieces here are his legs. Bell. And Bell is pretty much in the same position as this example picture here, and Bell is an ancient Canaanite deity, a false god that they worship back in the day, and unfortunately, they're still worshiping him. Do you see the demon with teeth? Directly behind Dr. Tony Evans. I am going to drop a red dot into the eye. There you go. 
for easy location of demon. It looks like the demon is trying to grab hold of the right side of Dr. Tony Evans' head. And you can see that with two fingers here. And this is the demon's face right here. It's a grotesque looking demon. It almost looks like one of those giants that they find in, um, in these um, graves nowadays where, um, you know, teeth are missing and there were giants of old as it is written in the book of Genesis. So you see the eye, you can actually see the eye socket in the, the, um, the cheekbone here. You can actually see that. And then his left eye, this is his right eye, and his left eye is covered up with these bushes right here. But as you go down, you can see his chin area. And this giant has teeth. He has one, two, three teeth. And one tooth is missing here. One tooth is missing, and this is his mouth area. This is a subliminal image. So Satan is not going to tell you straight out what this is. He's not going to make it so clear where anyone can see it. But it's a subliminal image, and the Most High is making it clear for us. So once again, you can see this giant-looking creature. It's a demon or a giant of some sort. And this is his right eye. This is like his nose area. And you can see the actual cheekbone here. And then you see his teeth. He's missing one tooth. This is his mouth area, and this is his chin area. And what I'm showing you guys, this is spiritual. This is not just something that I'm just showing you as a, a cartoon or something. This is what's going on in the spirit realm with Tony Evans. <coughs> Excuse me. He doesn't realize that when you involve yourself with the Illuminati, a.k.a. Satan, that these are the little things that happens to an individual. You pick up spirits, and these spirits control him. He's not in control of his own life because Satan is not going to give you um, anything for free. There's a price in everything you get from Satan. So he's got all these demonic entities in the spirit realm controlling him, absolutely controlling him. I don't think Dr. Tony Evans know how many demonic entities he is bringing home to his family. And we know that the enemy don't show up at anyone's home but to kill, steal, and destroy. Dr. Tony Evans is surrounded by these demons, the Baphomet, Baal, and a grotesque demon that follows him everywhere he goes. For the love of money, is the root of all evil, which while some covet after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. First Timothy 6 and 10. What Yahshua turned down these preachers happily sucked up, but not without a price. Again, here is a book written by Tony Evans for children, The Armor of God. This book cover is all about Jacob and Esau. The little black boy represents Jacob, and the little white girl represents Esau. 
Notice that the little white girl's clothing and hair are red. This represents Esau. Esau, as in the Rothschild, do know that Roth means red. And we all know that Esau was a red child. And so we have the Roth child. Let's continue. Notice the little black boy's sword is pointing upward on the shield. But the little white girl's sword is pointing downward onto the ground. Notice what the little white girl's sword touches down on. A subliminal martini glass. Bubbles and all. I will flip picture upside down, blow it up to bring out martini glass. Bubbles and all. A subliminal image of a martini glass. Bubbles and all. So why do this? The Illuminati does this to encourage the youth to drink alcohol beverages. I guess Tony felt like helping children get their alcohol beverages drink on. A subliminal image targeting kids to drink alcohol beverages. Thanks, Tony. Again, this is Dr. Tony Evans. Dr. Tony Evans says, Why God delays your blessing. So what God is Dr. Tony Evans referring to? The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? Or the God he is posing with? The God of this world. Satan. Do you see the Baphomet, demons, and Dr. Tony Evans hiding in the background in plain sight? I am going to flip the picture upside down, blow it up, and darken it some to bring the demonic out of hiding. Okay, let's break this demonic picture down. We started off with his picture here, and we can see him here in this, we can see him here in this picture, and um, he's just looking, you know, innocent and basically bringing a message. But when you flip the picture over, this is what you get. Okay, so do you see this man here? This man, you can see his right eye, his left eye, his nose, and his mouth, and you can see his little curly, beady hair here in the top. And this is a subliminal image, and this is what you get when you flip the picture over. And this man here represents Dr. 
Tony Evans. So this is who this represents, Dr. Tony Evans. And I'm gonna put in a demarcation line so I can separate the demonic from Dr. Tony Evans. There you go. So you can clearly see this man, this figure here, looking down at the demonic. So once again, this is Dr. Tony Evans in a subliminal form. And um, he's looking down at demonicness. Okay, next I want to bring out the Baphomet. And this is the Baphomet here. And here you see the Baphomet here. Just look at the face here. It's like a pie-shaped type face. And right over here, he's hiding as if he's the beard of Dr. Um, Tony Evans, but it's really not a beard, it's a face of the Baphomet. And you can see his um, left horn here, and this is the top of his head, and his head comes down in a pie shape, and it goes right up. And there is his right eye, and there is his left eye. And you can clearly see that right eye and the left eye. Drop those out the way. And once again, you can see the right eye as I circle it. And you can see the left eye as I circle it. And this is the Baphomet right here. And that's him right over here. That's what you're looking at right here, the Baphomet. The Baphomet is, have female and um, male body parts, the lower half of him, um, the male body parts here. And then on top, he has the breasts of women. So this is the Baphomet. And this is what this is right here, upside down. As clear as day, people. As clear as day. Okay, let us continue. Next, I want to bring out this ghostly looking demon here. And he's right here. And this is his hair. And this is his nose. This little round hole here is his mouth. And then this is his pointy chin that have hair on it, and this is his eye. I might have should have started there. So we have his eye, and you see his hair on top, and this is his right eye, this is his nose, this little round circle is his mouth, and this part down here is his pointy beard with little hair on it. And he's communicating with this demon here in black. And this demon in black has a hump in his back, and he has on some kind of a black robe that goes all the way down. And this is his left hand. And this is the demon's face. You can see horn one, horn two, and it's just a subliminal demon, and they're communicating with each other. And once again, we see the Baphomet, and this black figure here is a demon, and then this white figure here is a ghostly looking demon. And I took the liberties to um, enlighten this ghostly looking demon here so that you guys can see it a little better. So I'm going to bring that in. Okay, there he is again. And you can see his right eye and his nose. And the round circle is his mouth and his pointy chin with hair on it. So I'm going to take him out. And you can see him again, right here. Eyes, nose, mouth, and pointy chin. Some ghostly looking demon. Okay, let's continue. So this is what you're looking at. This is what you got here, the picture, why God delays your blessing. But this demonicness here is really what you got.
Satan uses subliminal images to manipulate his way into your subconscious mind. Your idea, thoughts, and beliefs are now hijacked, manipulated without your knowing with the use of subliminal images. What you once found repugnant, revolting, and downright disgusting, you now have a tolerance for. Once in your subconscious mind, it does not matter if the narrative is true or false, right or wrong, good or bad. The subconscious mind will take it in as a fact. So just look at the subliminal image that your subconscious mind took in as a fact. It took in that the Baphomet is God and it is he that blesses you and can delay them too. Dr. Tony Evans said, why God delays your blessing and then managed to turn upside down and pose with the God of this world, Satan. Wake up people to Dr. Tony Evans. My final comments. I just wanted to say the gift to see subliminal images came on me approximately four years ago. I also have the gift of discerning of spirits. This gift came on immediately when I gave my life to Christ many years ago. It is something that I really don't talk about much. I figure my gift will make room for me. I just wanted to say, when I do these subliminal videos, I am always trying to make it clear for the audience, the sheeple. To the point that it is very stressful because I want you guys to see the enemy at work. And the Holy Spirit spoke to me while doing this video. He said, Kim, this message is not for the people, but for the leaders. But he that have an ear to hear, let him hear. But the message is to the leaders. Do you know how happy that made me? The leaders are very aware of their demonic acts. I don't have to convince them of that. It is the sheepo that do not know, so I suggest you hear. My message is to T.D. Jakes, Paula White, Joel Osteen, Kenneth Copeland, Jerry Savelle, Joseph Prince, Benny Hinn, Dr. Tony Evans, Rod Parsley, Jesse Duplantis, Creflo Dollar, 
and Stephen Furtick. This message is for all of you. The Most High see what you're doing and who you're doing it to. So my message to you all is, not only are you exposed, but you're going to be judged too. For you see, people, these wolves in sheep's clothing, at minimum, have to pay homage to Satan via subliminals, to say the least. Ministers of Satan that parade around as ministers of righteousness. Okay, here if you can. I got mail to deliver. Be blessed.